Guys, get your credit cards ready. This X is high maintenance. The Bang & Olufsen X aren't exactly your typical true wireless earbuds at $399. Let's just say that again. $399, yeah, they expensive. So expect an extensive review. Khuladakh with DHRME. Did headphone reviews meet expectations? Did they? We're gonna start with what Bang & Olufsen's known for, its design. And color us underwhelmed. It's understated, but so understated that it is subterranean. I mean, sure, the aluminum ring with the glass touch surface is nice, until you touch them. At that point, it's fingerprint land. And this anthracite blue color is cool. But guys, this is still a regular stem-shaped earbud. So it's pleasant looking, but not exactly mind-blowing. The case seems like good old plastic and is very run-of-the-mill. Not very compact, not very eye-catching. But it does have wireless charging. And it does retain about 20 hours of charge with six coming from the buds themselves. Those are the numbers with ANC on. Not a bad number, but not top of the line either. And that glass earbud, it comes with touch controls. Glass works well for touching and we're pretty happy with the controls the X has over us. Besides play, pause and track controls, you can also change volume and toggle between the ANC modes. It also has a different touch control scheme if you're using just one bud on its own. In that case, you're stuck with play, pause and track controls only. But here's the thing, you can't exactly change these controls if you don't like them. The X just doesn't want you to make any changes. Typical. When we dig deeper though, it's clear that Bang & Olufsen have been listening. The EQ were not the most secure fitting buds in our ears. The design also protruded out of the ears quite a bit. Bang & Olufsen's gone and changed the X to a stem-shaped design and man does it make a difference. You get four sizes of silicone tips and one medium-sized comply tips. At this price, we'd expect to get a personal butler to make tips for us. But nope, just one size of comply tips. Comfort always depends on individual ear holes. We found that about after an hour or so of wearing them, we needed to take a break because of just how well the silicone buds sealed our ears. The buds do sit extremely well in the ear. We found them to be very secure and that's important for one thing, workouts. At an IP57 rating, these are about as good at resisting dust and water as I am at resisting exercise. They can handle more liquids than the ordinary human body can produce and have a very decent dust resistance rating too. But here's the thing, when I'm working out, I want buds that I'm okay with losing, you know, in case they fall out of my ear and I'm running near a ravine or something. Don't have ravine minimization expectations with these though. I would rather lose my phone <laughs> than these earbuds. It, it kind of feels like that. Who wants to have one half of a $399 set of earbuds? They won't sound as good as $200 earbuds, I can tell you that much. And hey, we know you wanted to hear about the sound. But before we go there, here's a mid-roll ad. Hey, you guys gotta eat. These earbuds, well, they sound perfect? All right, nothing's perfect, but you know we're big fans of the dual driver setup on the Edifier NeoBuds Pro. There are of course problems with those buds, but at about a hundred bucks, they are easily our favorite sounding at that price. But the Bioplay X, it's slightly a warmer version of the Edifier NeoBuds Pro, but with absolutely nothing wrong with it. Starting with the sub bass, the Neodymium 9.2 millimeter diameter drivers produce a nice rumbly sub bass that does not overpower anything. Very controlled as well. Exactly as you would want sub bass if you're looking for a relatively balanced sound. We must know that there is a very small difference between ANC on and ANC off. The ANC on gives you a noticeable punch in the sub bass and a bit of recess in the mids. With ANC enabled, the overall sound is a bit on the warmer side and more bass heavy than I expected. It's perfectly fine for me since I'm a bass head, but we can imagine audiophiles scoffing at the overbearing nature of the bass here. For them, the non-ANC mode would work better. But you know what? I always test earbuds with classic Billie Eilish to see how the bass performs. You want to feel that oomph, but you also want to hear separation between the sub bass and mid bass, as well as the rest of the track. It's a tricky balance, but the X brings it. When it comes to mids, voices sound exactly as they should. No unnecessary glassy edge, no recess. Whereas when the guitarist switches to their single coil bridge pickup, the deliberate glassy edge on the strings comes into focus in, in just the right way. The tuning in that sense is just immaculate. All genres sound fantastic and the timbre is 
super realistic. If anything, uh, the treble is not the star of the show, even though it is very clear and accurate. If you need that ear piercing Liberty 3 Pro style treble, you can get it, but you won't find it here out of the box. But the finesse is there. The presentation is nice. Acoustic guitars sound exactly as they should with no weird resonances or frequencies. In terms of volume, I was listening to them at about 70 to 80% on Android and that was fine. So these are loud, you know, but about 100% of your Patreon or YouTube membership contributions will go towards supporting your channel. It's a lot of hard work and gear to test every product that comes our way. So any contributions would make us ecstatic. Back to the sound. The curious thing I found is that at low volumes, these earbuds sound a bit more plain. They really shine and open up at slightly higher volumes. So if you're like a low volume listener, I mean, these are fine, but you won't be able to discern too much of what we've just said here. But what can you do if you don't like the sound signature? The X doesn't give you EQ capabilities just like the EQ before it. Confusing? We know. It has presets using the listening modes and they are just... You want unnecessarily high bass? Choose the sport. You like your teeth being on edge with higher frequencies? Commute works well. Want to turn the bass all the way down? Use clear. What's wonderful is that all the presets do something good. They're useful. They have a clear purpose. And the CD-like listening mode puck may not be to everyone's taste, but we've said before as well that we like it. Usable. And yes, before you spec head start shouting about how this is not LDAC, we think aptX Adaptive is to our ears one of the best codecs, stable with fairly good resolution, especially when coupled with good drivers. Now how well do these exclude and extinguish noise? Well, the active noise cancelling, as it turns out, isn't extreme. It does better with lower frequencies than higher ones. The overall sound attenuation isn't as good as the Bose or Sony. In fact, not even as good as the AirPods Pro or the Edifier Neobuds Pro. But it's closer to something like the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro. Which is to say, the noise cancelling is fine. There's an ANC slider between 1 and 3. What is very nice is that with ANC on, the white noise is very low compared to some other earbuds we've tried. In terms of wind noise reduction, the ANC and transparency modes aren't great. We just stuck to the passive seal or the neutral mode. And because these earbuds don't jut out of our ears, we thought they performed quite well in moderately windy conditions. There's also adaptive ANC in the app, but we didn't feel like it did much though. The story is the same with transparency very low levels of white noise, but overall amplification of sound is not on par with the top dogs like the Samsung, Sony's and the Bose. Even the Nothing Ear 1 is a better bet. In our view, if Bang & Olufsen is charging such a premium price, it needs to come up with its own noise cancelling tech to race past the competition and not just use off-the-shelf components or chipsets like they seem to be doing right now. I mean, you're getting better performance with the Lipertek Z5 or the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro. The Edifier Neobuds Pro destroys the Bang & Olufsen for ANC and transparency quantity. Sure, there's more white noise, weird artifacting, but come on, at least get up to the two-year-old AirPods Pro Bang & Olufsen. Now let's talk about calls. We'll have samples for you at the end of this video with some of the top competitors and you can hear and judge for yourself. What was our experience for phone calls? Well, we would be happy to pick up the X in quiet or noisy conditions. A quiet environment is hard to get wrong. In the noisy environment though, before Rohan started talking, you could hear almost all the background noise. But the moment he started popping those popsicles, you could tell that the noise suppression kicked in and you could hear him quite clearly. You can still tell he's in a noisy environment, but a short call is very doable. In windy conditions, we wouldn't prefer to use these buds. They're okay when Rowan was speaking loudly, but when he started speaking softly, it was barely understandable. Let's talk Fuckman controls. They're good. You don't get the ability to mute calls on the buds directly, but you do get the basics of answering, hanging up, or rejecting a call. You also get volume controls and the ability to toggle between ANC modes. The latter are either full noise cancelling, neutral, or hearing your own voice. Interestingly, the neutral and own voice sounded exactly the same to us, but the noise cancelling definitely toned down background noise. Note that this is for you when you're talking on the phone. It doesn't affect how the listener hears you, but all in all an above average set of call controls. The Bang & Olufsen comes with multi-device and we're happy to report that it works pretty well. You we must especially compliment them for including not only Android fast pairing, but also Microsoft's version of quick pairing. I mean, who uses Microsoft Windows? Spoiler alert, we do. 
and the pairing process with Windows was very smooth. I must say that pairing initially was a bit of a pain with Android and Mac OS, but once it worked, we were pretty happy with it. You can pause on one device, press play on the other, and this X does just fine with two partners. While working with the Mac and Android, the music automatically paused on the Android phone and I got a notification on the Mac, but hitting play resumed the music correctly. The app by itself is okay, but we've got beef with it. You're forced to sign up for a BNO account to use it. Not cool. It's, it's not the most feature-rich either, but in our view, it does well at distilling the basics down to its essence. It tries to be very Apple-y by not giving you customization on sound using EQ or touch controls, because hey, the X always knows better, doesn't it? It does, however, let you make different customizations on sound, as well as basic ANC and transparency strength customizations. We would have loved to see a connections list like the Sennheiser Smart Control app has, but alas, peanut butter. You also get the bells and whistles of an in-ear sensor to automatically play and pause your music uh, using either but on its own and a personal valet. Well, not that last one, but you should get one, I think. All right, guys, I just realized one really cool thing about the Bio Play and the in-ear sensor is that if you have only one bud in ear, uh, the bud that's in ear starts playing both the channels. It switches to stereo. And the moment you put it back in, it goes to mono and this one goes to the left channel and the right channel. So that's a really good implementation of the in-ear sensor to actually switch to stereo once you've taken a bud off. Well done, Bang & Olufsen. It's a nice touch. Now, does your ex care about your future? Well, we asked, but never got an answer. On their website, BNO curiously doesn't have a sustainability report for 2022. But going through the report of 2020 and 2021, we see they've made changes to the packaging by reducing the weight and volume to lower their carbon footprint. They also use more paper material in their packaging, allowing buyers to sort their recycling better. They do also stand behind a select number of UN sustainability development goals. Moving on, how does the X stack up against other potential partners for your ears? In many ways, the BioPlay X is the rank opposite of the Sony WF-1000XM4. The Sony sounds fine, but not great. Its ANC and transparency modes are top notch. Pretty great battery life, a very compact case, a very complete app. The X flips that story on its head. The X also doesn't have any additional smoothing in the mids like the Technique's AZ60 and the bass performance on the X is marginally cleaner and better. So is the grain and overdriven guitars. It isn't smoothed out to a pleasant sound. The Bose QuietComfort sound pretty good with some resolution issues in the treble region. They still dominate every other bud for pure noise cancelling. Almost headphone levels of sound isolation. But that massive case isn't winning any beauty contests. What else? Uh, the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro is feature rich and has a fantastic app. For me, the treble on the Liberty 3 Pro is too aggressive. I've tried to tame it using the flat preset from Soundcore, but I feel that there's something unnatural about the treble. And even if I tame it, uh, I found myself moving to different presets for different genres. Then we have the Edifier NeoBuds Pro. The Edifier NeoBuds Pro is a bit rough around the edges. Sometimes there are connectivity drops, there are strange app permissions, there's weird artifacting while calling and in transparency mode, but still great noise cancelling and transparency quantity, decent at calls, a more V-shaped experience, sure, and a more thundering bass that is probably a little less controlled. Definitely imperfect, but man, even after all this time, we still love these. Still our biggest $100 recommendation. The closest these come to in terms of sound is the Lipertech Z5 and the Galaxy Buds Pro. Now the Galaxy Buds Pro has a great airy treble presentation and certainly comes very close to the BioPlay X, but the X edges it out again. The Samsung of course has the best transparency mode we've seen in any true wireless earbud to date. The Z5 has some slight sibilance issues and lacks the sub bass thump that the EX can provide. Uh, also, it has no multi-device, but their ANC and transparency is very comparable and dare I say, slightly better than the BioPlo X. And this may not matter to many, but it has the best hinge. So what does the X stand for? Extraordinary and exclusivity or exploitive and extortion? Well, it's for the person who wants the best sounding true wireless earbuds and cares about that extra last 1% of sound. 
or if you're a Bang & Olufsen fan, that's it. But look, here's the thing, nothing about these earbuds is bad. Sure, the ANC and transparency are not best in class and you should expect that at this price point, but there are no real glaring mistakes. Maybe the lack of a gaming mode might be something you look for, but other than that, it's not that they skipped an in-ear sensor or that multi-point is missing or the case is super massive. So if you're the kind of fan person we just said, you won't really be disappointed with these buds. At the end of the day though, you know we could say other things like comfort and water and dust resistance, but you can get that and much better for a quarter of the price. You can buy four Liberty 3 Pros or Edifier Neobuds Pros. Heck, you can even buy two AirPods Pros or Sony WF-1000XM4s on discount or eight earphone free pro twos. You see where we're going with this? So the deal is this, the person buying these buds will buy these buds. For everyone else, there's MasterCard. You've been wondering if our X was worth it and we've been DHRME. Namaste for the call samples. Bang & Olufsen EX, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Bose quiet comfort buds, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Sony F, Sony WF 1000 XM4, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Techniques EAH AZ60, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Edifier Neobuds Pro, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Lipotec Z5, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro, quiet conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Bang & Olufsen EX, windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, pop. Test, test, testing. Bose Quiet Comfort Buds, windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing. One, two, three. Sony WF 1000 XM4, windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle. Techniques AZ60 windy conditions. Pop pop popsicle. Ice ice icicle. Test test testing. One two three. Pop pop popsicle. Ice ice icicle. Test test testing. One. Edify Neobots Pro windy conditions. Pop pop popsicle. Ice ice icicle. Test test testing. One two three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Lipotec Z5, windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro, windy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Testing. One, two, three. Bang & Olufsen EX, noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle. Ice, ice, icicle. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Bose quiet comfort buds, noisy conditions. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop, pop, popsicle, ice, ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three.
Tony WF 1000 XM3 noisy conditions. Pop up, popsicle, ice ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Pop up, popsicle, ice ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Techniques AZ60 noisy conditions. Pop up, popsicle, ice ice, icicle, test, test, testing, one, two, three. Edifier and Earbuds Pro noisy conditions. Pop pop popsicle ice ice icicle test test testing one two three. Pop pop popsicle ice ice icicle test test testing one two three. Lipotec Z5 noisy conditions. Pop pop popsicle ice ice icicle test test testing one two three. Soundcore Liberty T Pro noisy conditions. Pop pop popsicle ice ice icicle test test testing one two three. Pop pop popsicle ice ice icicle test test testing one two three.